I just felt, why am I doing this? Why am I trying? Because he actually told me, like, even if you're a vegetarian, this is going to happen. It's all hereditary. Because of the, the, the amount of calcification and what's going on, I'm 38 years old. And he actually told me, he actually told me when he was coming to tell me all this, that um, he didn't know how to talk. He was actually staying outside for a little bit before he actually came in and told me because he didn't know how to tell me. I'm 38 years old. I'm a personal trainer. I, you know, I work out and I eat good, you know, for the most part. I mean, I cheat once in a blue moon or whatever the case may be, but it's like, I'm not, you know. Hey everyone, it's Shane. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm just, when you get a chance, hit that subscribe button or hit that follow button if you listen on podcast. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the show. So where do I begin with this? Hey, um, as you can see next to me right now, you can see a picture of me. 20, that's 225 pounds, me. The last time I was there at that point when I was 225 pounds was actually in high school. Uh, I was 15 years old. Um, yeah, I was 225 pounds, maybe close to 230. Um, same height for the most part. I pretty much stopped growing once I got into high school. I was already uh, 5, 10, 5, 11 at that point. So I didn't grow that much after that. But I was 225 pounds. And, but this picture now, the recent one is about a year ago. Yeah, about a year ago. And why is that? Is the few things that happened um found out that i have heart disease would you kind of respect that hey you should you should take care of yourself you should watch what you're eating and stuff like that but i didn't really actually do that i tried to but then i stopped i don't know if i stopped caring or what the case was so with me and my wife were trying to sell a house the house was under my name so i had to do most of the work the running back and forth that was one of the most stressful times of my life. I, I never was, I never can, I cannot remember, even college, even whatever you could think of, whatever I could think of is like nothing, like it was stress. So signed the papers, everything was done, whatever. Sold the house, bought the new house, whatever. And then I got on this thing right here, the Stairmaster. I think it was the next day or the same day, whatever it was, I think it was the next day. Got on the Stairmaster. And then I was, I think mounted me on for two, three minutes. My heart started to race. Not even race. I felt, what was it? I felt like tightness. And then I felt a uh, sharp pain on my right side. That doesn't make sense. The heart's on the left. But I felt tightness on the left, sharp pain on the right. So eventually I just, um, whatever, you know, maybe because of the stress or whatever. Long story short, I went, I did go to the emergency room eventually, right before I went on vacation. My mom told me to do it or whatever, so I did. And then finally I went to the emergency room, they did EKG, whatever, nothing's wrong. Your blood pressure is a little bit elevated, but eventually I took it again, it was fine. Everything was fine. Left, went on vacation, went to Jamaica, um, came back, same problem. I thought it was stress or anxiety, it wasn't that. It was something else. So eventually, long story short, I just hopped on the computer, Googled a cardiologist near me, and I found a cardiologist. I went, checked me in, did all that kind of stuff. Blood pressure is fine for the most part. Everything else, EKG is fine. But then he put me on the treadmill and we did a, I did a stress test. So I did that stress test and he said, oh. And I started to feel that, that tightness and that the sharp pain on my right side. So the thing is like, ever since that happened, that first time after I got on a Stairmaster, every time I worked out and my heart rate got up or whatever, I felt that. Sometimes I try to push through, sometimes I didn't, you know, or something, but it's like, that's what's constant. But anyway, the same thing happened when I went on the treadmill and then he saw something. I went for two scans. I forgot the first one required me to take something. I think I got a shot. Then I laid down and they tried to see where the blockage is. If there's blockages, that's where you assume. And yes, there was blockages. Then eventually, which is one of the most terrifying things I ever had to go through, I had to get an angiogram done, meaning that to put me to sleep, put a camera up my wrist, and then 
um, goes all the way to my heart. So on my right side, it went all the way to my left side, to my chest, to my heart. I was scared, to be honest with you. Um, I was actually trying to get my will done as fast as I can. God forbid something happened. Honest to God, you know, I was really concerned. Um, I didn't actually get my will done until after this was done, but uh, everything worked out, you know. So anyway, everything was confirmed. I have three blockages in my in my heart. And the best way to explain to explain it is you have the highway, where is the main artery. The, yeah, the main artery. And if that's blocked, that's called a widow maker. That's where you have 99.9 .9 chances. No. So you have 0% chance pretty much to survive. And then the roads, like the main roads or the streets or whatever, be like some other arteries, or whatever. But my arteries is like a dead end street where my three blockages are or going to a driveway or whatever. That's that's the way I kind of frame it or he kind of framed it. The, the cardiologist kind of framed it. And I saw two cardiologists too during this whole thing. So eventually uh, I just felt, why am I doing this? Why am I trying? Because he actually told me like, even if you were a vegetarian, this is going to happen. It's all hereditary because of the, the, the amount of calcification and what's going on. I'm 38 years old. And he actually told me, he actually told me when he was coming to tell me all this, that um, he didn't know how to talk. He was actually staying outside for a little bit before he actually came in and told me because he didn't know how to tell me. I'm 38 years old. I'm a personal trainer. You know, I work out and I eat good, you know, for the most part. I mean, I cheat once in a blue moon or whatever the case may be, but it's like, I'm not, you know. So he eventually told me all this and he explained everything, like I said, but... Um, he actually, what do you say? He's going to be a study. He's going to have it as he's presented to a study or whatever, to his fellow doctors or whatever, cardiologists. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did think what if it was because of I took those three shots or whatever. And I don't want to say it because I don't know if they're going to flag this, you know, whatever and take it down. But I got the shots and I, you know, am I upset about it? If it you know, I mean, it is what it is. I'm you know, I can't reverse time. I thought I did it because I thought at the time is the best thing to do, you know? So I've heard a lot of cardiologists, heart, I mean, cardiovascular issues have developed from that. I don't know, but all I know is, um, it does run in, a, don't run in my family. Father has issues. Uncles have issues all on my father's side. And the thing is, I, I feel like I'm irresponsible because I never knew that. I never actually asked my family on that side, you know, do I, I didn't ask until after I found out about this. And then all this information, triple bypass, one uncle, or one, no, grandfather had a heart attack and the second one killed him. Um, my father had a stents put in uh, recently and I asked, I asked, can you just put some stents in or whatever? He says where it is, it's so small that if, it, if, I tr if they try to, it might rupture and, you know, be a whole lot worse. But yeah, and finding all this, I guess being close in my mind to death, in my mind, you know, whatever, you know, it's just worried and I'm, I didn't really care too much for my health as much as I should. And then, you no, know, I wanted to say, you know, well, let me try to change it. Let me do another like a photo shoot or something like that. And, you know, to promote my business or whatever. And I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, cause I wasn't focused enough, you know? I mean, like I said, that picture is for is two hundred twenty five pounds. Where I'm at right now is one nine one ninety one six. You know, I want to go back to where I was when I was like one eighty five, one ninety, one eighty five. That's where I like to be at. But it's it's like I will always tell people, tell tell clients, hey, you want to do this right. You don't want to have to have. You want to do this now. You don't want to wait until later on when the doctor comes to you and tells you, hey, listen, you got to fix your stuff. You might drop dead or at the time when it happens, like you get a heart attack or something like that, then you try to change your lifestyle, whatever. But the thing was frustrating because I did all that before that stuff happened. It was actually when I was 15, when I got the got the old, the old shit moment. I, uh, my sister, we got a recorder. We didn't have much, but we were able to get it. My mom bought us a recorder, like a video camera. This is like a long time ago. I was 15, so I was like, I don't know, 1994, 95, whatever it was. No, actually, maybe early 2000 or whatever it was. And she recorded me and I saw the picture. I was like, crap. And that's when I decided to, you know, lose the weight and everything. Um, 
but yeah, now it's like fast forward to, to more recently. It was like, you know, what am I doing wrong? Or am I even trying? And that's what I realized a couple months ago. I'm not really trying. I'm working out or whatever, but I'm not really trying. So long story short is guys, or take, take, what I want you to take from this is pay attention to your body. If you have insurance, use it. If you can go to the doctor, go to the doctor. You know, don't try to, you know, why, um, you know, brush things off or whatever and just pay attention. You know, um, luckily my wife and my mom pushed me, you know, he said, though, if I did have, if I do get a heart attack, um, he said, if I get a heart attack, it will be, it would just be very painful. I won't die from it, but it will be very, very painful. Yeah. So all the things that I did was I took my workouts more seriously, my nutrition even more serious. I don't have caffeine anymore because even after when I, I'm on medication now, actually. So even after I start taking the medication, you know, the pain and all that kind of stuff that I felt went away. But it's sometimes when my heart rate got up to a certain point, even further, that's when I start to feel something. So my wife actually recently told me, Shane, maybe you need to stop taking the Celsius. Not because of the heart thing, but, you know, the warnings about Celsius, the energy drink or whatever. So I stopped taking that. I usually take like a half a can a day. Like a half, a, drink half a can, leave the other for the next day or whatever. So I, I stopped drinking that. Only time I have caffeine is if I really need it, if I didn't sleep well. If I really need it, though, I try to avoid it the best I can. I push through. And, you know, honestly, that's it. My workouts have been better now. I mean, everything now. I mean, I'm down. I lost the, the I'm close to whatever, 30 pounds or whatever that I lost, you know, from that, you know, from you know, a couple months ago, but it's, it's just very, it's very, you know, like a, you know, reality check kind of thing. And, um, but I think I shared that with you guys. Yeah. So I'm not drinking caffeine, um, no caffeine at all, unless I really need it. And the thing is, once I have the caffeine and I work out, I feel it then that's when I feel it. So I, I literally only have caffeine when I really need it. And I expect it. I wait for the, the thing to come and then it goes away. Or if I'm also stressed out, being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, whatever, it's like, yeah, it's going to be stressful time. But if I'm really, really stressed out, I feel it. Um, but besides that is I don't feel it anything at all like I did before. Um, like before I was able to run, you know, before, I don't know if it's the shots, man. I don't know. But um, before I was able to run six miles or whatever, no problem. But when this was going on, I could barely make it a mile without it, you know, bothering me. But I mean, I'm better now for the most part. Um, thank God. But, um, but yeah, I think I'll share with you guys a um, little health uh, check in. But like I said, guys, if you feel something, do something about it. Don't just like, you know, you know brush it off. All right. If you have insurance, use it. All right, guys, hope you, you know, took, uh, took some things from this. All right, guys, it's not over. If you have heart, uh, heart issues, I mean, what's his name? Bob, I forgot his name. He was a personal trainer for the biggest loser. I forgot his name. His first name is Bob, last name I totally forgot. He actually died. He has the same issue for, with, I do, but he has, it. He's, he's hereditary as well. But his blockage is where the Widowmaker is, the highway I was talking about. And he, he literally died. Luckily, there was doctors in the in the gym that he was where he's working out, so they were able to re resuscitate him. And now, you know, he I think he says his routine is more calmer, more yoga, those kind of things or whatever. I don't want to do that. I love lifting, I love hit training, I love doing boxing, I love getting my heart rate up, I love like feeling like oh, crap, I'm doing something. Not oh crap, I'm about to die, but oh crap, I'm doing something, you know. But yeah, it's. Just pay attention, ask about your family history, because no matter what you're doing and how you're actually living, you know, living a healthy lifestyle, the vegan lifestyle. Yeah, the doctor, my doctor said, like, even if it's a vegan or not, it still would have happened, you know. But luckily, I'm fortunate that one, you know, I'm still alive. And two, the fact that where the blockages are is nowhere that would be detrimental or kill me. I mean, I try to go, I have to, this is like two years when I start feeling this. So June was the first Two years ago in June was the first time I felt it. So it was literally two years ago um, that everything started. And then, um, yeah, I went finally went to go see him in early August. It took me that long to finally go see the doctor. But yeah, um, 
yeah, so I got to get my checkup in August to see, make sure everything's okay and everything. But yeah, that's my story, guys. I'm sticking to it. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys took something from this. I really appreciate you guys watching this far. I didn't want to make it, make it that long, but you know, it's 15 minutes or whatever it is. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And you guys... Are you ready to transform your health and wellness journey? At Kadapa Strength, I'm committed to helping you achieve your goals through my three pillars for results. First, I educate, equipping you with essential knowledge to understand your body and its needs. Then I execute a tailored plan, ensuring every step is personalized to your unique lifestyle. Finally, I encourage, providing accountability and support every step of the way. Get ready to unlock your full potential and thrive in every aspect of your life. Visit me today and let's embark on this journey together. Check me out at Kandapa Strength.